Hi, Tim Ungert here, and in this video, we're going to create a PHP program that spits out a binary pattern with zeros and ones, and uh, the pattern, so it's going to be something like 0, 1, then 0, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so it's going to uh, increase up to some number that the that you put into the program and say okay let's just carry the pattern up to that point so let's say this is uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh so you know if i put in number 14 it should spit this out as an array okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of object-oriented programming so we're going to start with a class and i'm going to call that class binary and then within that class, I'm going to have, not that, I'm going to have a public function. And uh, let's call the public function binary. And we're going to pass in some number into the function. And then we have a few variables. Okay, so we have a variable that increments during a while loop. That's going to be called i. And we'll set that to zero. We're going to have uh, the variable that uh, controls when we put a zero instead of a one. That's going to be J. And we're also going to set that one to zero. And then we're going to have a variable K, which we're going to set to two. And I'll explain more about that in a moment. We're also going to have uh, an array. So let's call that nums array. And that's going to equal just an array like, like so. OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop. So we're going to say while the variable i is less than the variable num, what we're going to do is we're going to say if i equals j. So if i equals j, okay, then um, we're going to push 0 into the nums array. And the way we're going to do that, the efficient way we're going to do that is we're going to have nums uh, array and then just put uh, open and close square brackets and that equals zero okay and while we're doing this if part of the statement when we equal zero we got to set j again for the next one so we're going to say j equals j plus k okay so if you look at this pattern um, the first time j is zero the second time j is two okay so 0 equals 0 plus 2. That makes sense. The third time, it's 3, 4, 5. So we have 2 plus, or 2 equals 2, but then plus, if we only had 2 here, then it would be 4. So we got to increment k each time, because notice we're going another time to get to the 0. So we're going to say k plus equals 1. Okay? Now, so we're pushing 0 if... Uh, we're in a certain position, but if we're not, you know, so if i equals j, we're pushing zero. But if we're not, we're going to have to push in a one. So we're going to say nums array square brackets equals one. And that's the only thing for the else. Now, to keep this while loop from being an infinite loop, we're going to increment i also. So we're at the end of this loop, we're going to say i plus equals one. Okay. And then this function here, inside the function, we want to, at the end, print out the array. So we're going to say print uh, r, OK, and then just the nums array, OK? And we'll close that out and save it, OK? And then we're going to go down here uh, outside of the um, class. And we're going to create a new object. So we're going to say solution equals new binary. Okay. And then we're going to take the solution and we're going to run the method in there. So we're going to say solution, uh, and use an arrow like so, and then binary. And I'm going to put in 30 so we can see the pattern really play out uh, quite a bit. I'm going to save it. I'm going to open up the terminal. Okay. And to run it, I'm just going to type PHP binary dash algo dot php 
and we'll see it runs it. And so let's scroll up a little bit. So we see 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, then 0, you know, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so it keeps going with that pattern. So anyways, you know, I thought this was a nice uh, thought-provoking exercise to do. Um, this is how you do it. I'll leave a link to the code in the description. Uh, and I thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If you like videos like this where you just uh, look at algorithms and solve problems and that kind of thing. And also we do some web, well, I do some web design. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And that's it.